Hello and welcome everyone to another video of for Terra Monsters and service and ET distribution r, &R. Today we're going to be talking about the D8 hybrid. Um, Terra Monsters was kind enough, they sent us a review unit, we're going to check it out. The D8 is um, USB DAS with both cold and hot storage. Um, and also one thing that we're going to highlight today is the deals that uh, Terra Monster is offering. These deals are really good, right? They're really good. So let's go into the DAS first. In this video, we're going to show you how it looks and what it is and so on and so forth. Uh, but we're also going to highlight the deals. Let's go through the deals first. So the first deal they're offering is one single D8 hybrid for about 2,600, and that's with taxes, because this one here, this is 2,168 crowns, this is without taxes. So you have to add taxes on top of it, so it's about 2.6, right? This is a good deal, like this is a really good deal. Then they have like this high D8 hybrid pack 2, I, I suppose you can get 2, but I don't see why, but... Then you have the NAS drives, uh, NAS packages, this one is good. So the F4, F2-423, together with the D8, that's a pretty good deal. Then you have the F4-423, if you upgrade the RAM, this is a good deal. And here's the best deal, this is the best deal you can get. This is the F4-424 Pro NAS, together with the D8, this is a really good deal. If you want to get a NAS today, this is the deal you want to get. This is the deal you want to get. Um, the D8 hybrid, two years warranty, same thing, always good. Terra Monster always offers good warranty, no problem there. Here's some backup information about the D8, why they made it, how it looks, and, and so on and so forth. And one thing that we all know, data collection in the world is growing. And, uh, well, you need more storage. This is basically it. Uh, Terra Monster is very good at creating storage solutions. They are very good, no problem there. Um, and here is their hybrid storage solution that they have created. So they have the hot data, they have the cold data. So the cold data is for the information that you don't use that often. Hot data is for things that you really use often, right? The fast things. Very good for photo editing and uh, video editing and stuff like this. This is really good. Like this is if I if if you are a photographer or a cine, cin cinematographer or something, you you really need one. Like this is what you want. The free backup software, we tried it. Um, it works, but you don't really want to use it to be honest, um, because most of the time you have this uh, USB DAS. You either have a NAS or you have a server or something, and that is going to have better software. So, um, well, well, it's a good one for people on Windows, like the basic user, right? But if you're a more experienced user, you, you probably need something else. Um, 10 gigabits of storage, uh, 10 gigabits of speed transfer bandwidth, actually, not storage, transfer speed. Um, yeah, that's true. Uh, we tested it, and yeah, you can get that, no problem. We hooked it up to uh, Thunderbolt uh, on the Mac M1, no problem. Um, and here's the outline of the disks. So this, these four uh, M2s, they're single disks. These two mechanicals are single disk, and these two are RAID 0 and 1. Now, here's a word of caution. <clears throat> when you are um, using these drives... Even if you unmount one of the drives in these two sections here, all of the drives will unmount. So when you unmount and input uh, things into the DAS, make sure you turn it off. Otherwise, you can lose data. So make sure you turn it off and put in and put out the drives, right? Um, Cross-platform compatibility. This is true. We have tested it on everything. We tested it on iPhone. We tested it on Steam Dex. We tested it on Windows PC, servers, NASes. No problem. It will connect to uh, just about anything. Expand your NAS space. Yep, that's true. It works. No problem. Easy operation. Yep. Cool and quiet. Yep. Power management. Yep. No problem there. Um, Here's another uh, review of the um, D8 hybrid made by NAS Compare. This is a pretty good one. I suggest you take a look at it. 
Um, otherwise, it comes down to how they have this massive storage and what is the top of the storage. So they're saying like 96 terabytes is the largest you can get under this. Um, this is sort of true. You can get a little bit higher, but it's not supported. Um, then you have 32 terabytes here if you want to max out this storage. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, transfer speeds. Um, with a single M2 NVMe, 980 megs. Yeah, that's true. We got about 950, 960. Yep, yeah, it's kind of true. Um, you have two SATA SSDs in RAID 0. Well, just for speed, yeah, you can use this, but you don't want to use RAID 0. You, you really don't. Like, you, you don't. Um... File systems, this is true. Uh, we tested it with different file systems. Um, Mac, no problem. We even tested it with BTRFS. We even tested it with pretty much SATAFS and stuff like this, no problem. It would basically work with anything you hook it into, like literally anything. Um, yeah, uh, this is pretty much it uh, when it comes to their Kickstarter page, but I really suggest you guys take a look. Because it's, it's, it's a really good device, like like it is. And here you have uh, a picture when they're inputting into a NAS and you're, they're using it with T-RAID. Uh, T-RAID is a Terramaster only uh, function. Um, it's, it's a really good one, like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Um, less stress, more bliss. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's very easy to use. Um, as they show here, it's very easy to use. There's no complications no problems nothing um, keep it cool and quiet that is true it's very quiet um, don't mind me by the way I have two really big servers in the background you, you might hear them too just so you know but yeah this this d8 no problem it's very quiet but yeah let's take a few looks more onto the pictures and uh, another video and stuff like this so here we have the m.2 slots on d8 with the cover off very easy to put in, very easy to install, no problems. Here's the hard drive trays. They are without screws, you just click them in and that's it. Here's the back side, and this is the contents of the box. Everything is included, power supply, cable, screws, everything. Here is a speed test that we did with uh, the disk uh, tool. And this is with a very old M.2 SSD. It's been through a many, 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 many tests. So this is a very old one. But the speed is quite good, and we have tested it with new drives, old drives, and even if the old drives work, that's really good. So here we are with the D8 hybrid connected to a gaming PC, and we put a Steam library on the D8. And as you can see, when we go into the settings, it will show the game onto the D8 hybrid. And we have just connected an ordinary drive, um, and it seems to be working just fine. We're going to be starting it up, looking at the load times and see how it works, but so far so good. It's working really easy to be honest. The D8 Hybrid, um, even when using conventional drives, um, it's very fast, right? So you can easily use it for increasing your game libraries, movies, photographs, whatever you wish. To make sure that we are really trying to push as much loading time as possible, we're going to be increasing the resolution to 2K. And we're going to try and, you know, try to get the most of it to make sure it tries to cache as much as possible to the drive. But, but yeah, it's working really good, to be honest. I mean, loading up fast. We've we tried pretty much everything you can think of. Um, we tried using SATAFS on it. We tried use BTRFS. We've tried pretty much everything, and it works, so there's no problems. So here is the game control from the Steam Deck library running on the D8 Hybrid. And this is from a normal, ordinary disk. There's, this is not uh, M.2, this is nothing else, it's a conventional mechanical drive. And it's loading really fast, um, no problem at all. 
and um, we're, we're not going to be showing everything from the game because we can't but uh, this is just to load up the movies, the, the in the screen, and just make sure to you know that the game is running normally, so to speak. A few other things that we have tried uh, with the D8 hybrid. Um, we have tried it with uh, Da Vinci. 18. We have tried it with um, trying to do uh, video editing, um, photo editing with Photoshop, and uh, we tried hooking it up into Proxmox. Um, everything seems to be working as intended. The only problem that we have figured out is that when you input a drive and when you extract a drive from the D8 DAS, you need to shut it off because apparently it's not really hot swappable, right? Because apparently, when you put out a drive from bay one or two, it shuts down all of the other drives. I'm not really sure if there's a, anything, in, but we, we, we reached out to TerraMaster about this and um, they said they're gonna put a warning sticker on it. Um, it's, it has some things to do with the chip on the um, 1 and 2 drive, right? You can still do hot swaps on 3 and 4. That works, but not 1 and 2. That doesn't work. While we're looking through the game here, I might as well point out that um, TerraMaster currently has a Kickstarter uh, for the D8 hybrid. And one of the deals, uh, two of the deals actually, two of the deals, two of the deals that they had, they're really phenomenal. Like, they're really good. Um, I spoke about them earlier in the video, and I, I need to make sure that I'm actually highlighting it. Um, because those deals are really good, like really good, especially if you're in Sweden, because otherwise it would be much more expensive. A few other things that we have tried uh, with the D8 Hybrid um, is using it as a storage for Blender when doing animations and doing um, 3D modeling, uh, we, we've used that. Um, we have also used it as an iSCSI device um, to various units. Um, we have also used it to try as a printing, uh, uh, like, a, like a folder for the printing for the 3D printers. That works, no problem. Um, it can be read, so that's not a problem. Um, so, we have been running this game for a while, um, we, we tried it, we couldn't find any errors, um, and uh, using the D8 um, for expanding your uh, Steam library works without any problems. Um, unfortunately, we cannot show all the games and stuff like this because, well, you, you can get run into problems, it's licenses and stuff like this. but. It works without any issues. Um, so, basically, any computer that has a limited amount of storage base will uh, basically get a boost from this D8 hybrid. Um, Max with low, uh, as you all know, Max when you buy them, uh, they have very low amount of hard drive space. Um, so, a D8 for a Mac, for example, that is probably the best investment you can get. Um, Steam Decks, um, if you use the Steam Deck for docking up or if you use the D8 as an iSCSI target for the Steam Deck, that will work without any problems. Um, using uh, the D8 to hook up as an expansion mode hard drive 
uh, and directories for Proxmox. That is also an excellent use case. If you want to build, like, if, if, if you cannot afford uh, to buy a NAS, and you want to build, like, a cheap NAS, uh, the D8, uh, you can hook it up into a Raspberry Pi or something like this and build a very cheap NAS. You can do that. Um, as far as we can understand it and as far as we have tested it, um, no unit um, has ever failed to connect to the D8. Um, so that that's a good thing. So um, that's a good thing. Um, so yeah. I, I overall I'm I'm very satisfied with the D8 to be honest. Um, in terms of uses and in terms of um, use cases, um, it's a good investment. But I think it, the target audience is more people with a limited amount of storage or with uh, people who do video editing. I think they are the ones that really can make use of this, like really. Um, but yeah. So we hooked up um, the D8 to an uh, iPhone and you can actually record video straight directly to the D8. So you can use it as storage for your mobile phones while you're out and doing videos. So this will conclude this video about the D8 for now, but you can do some very interesting projects with this one. I highly recommend it for everyone.